with this is we look for areas of, you guessed it, turbulence on, on the body. And when we find these areas of turbulence, areas where the air separates from the body of the car, uh, Nia uh, will make recommendations and then we'll put that into our criteria and design around those criteria. So I'm going to show you a few images of the concept volt versus the production volt. Now, some of these images have never been seen before, so uh, you guys are the first. Uh, on the left is the concept table that we're all familiar, familiar with, and on the right is the same view of the production car as it stands today. And the first thing you'll notice about the concept volt is that the front end was very blunt, and uh, it had a very sharp crease on the front corner of the car. You know, if you know anything about aerodynamics, uh, air does not like to go around sharp corners. It um, separates or becomes detached. It's <coughs> turbulence. Turbulence creates drag. So the fundamental idea behind pushing a shape through the air is to make sure that the air stays attached to the car as long as possible. So with the production volt, you'll notice that the front corner is uh, very rounded, uh, all in an effort to keep the air attached around the corner and send it down the side of the car. I'm moving to the rear, and uh, this is actually the first time we've shown any of the rear of the production car. You notice that the, while the two vehicles are very similar in their design vocabulary, I want to point out the uh, little vertical fin element, I call it, on the rear corner of the production bolt. Now, air wants to stay attached to the car. I already said that. But it has to leave the car at some point. And when it does, it needs to leave very quickly. So we want to put a, an aerodynamic trip device back there so that when it leaves the car, it separates cleanly and quickly and doesn't send uh, turbulence into the vehicle's wake. Going into a little bit more detail, and this is where it really becomes interesting, this is the side view mirror as we started out. And the attachment strategy is something that we call a patch mount. In other words, the structure that holds the mirror sticks out horizontally from the patch on the door. Uh, we tested that in the tunnel and we tried a variety of other solutions. And we ended up with this solution, which we call a post mount. In other words, the mirror comes up out of a post from the shoulder of the car. Now, just by making this small change, we were able to reduce aerodynamic drag by five counts. Likewise, on the back of the vehicle, we started with a spoiler, which was, was fairly horizontal. And pay attention, you may not have noticed what I did there, but all I did was add a five millimeter trip device at the rear edge of the spoiler. That small change added another, reduced drag by another five counts. Okay, 10 counts. Big deal, right? You guys probably don't even know what a count of drag is, so why should you care if I got rid of 10 of them? Uh, well, you'll, you'll care in a minute, because if you look at this chart, and I'm not one, I'm not big on charts, but I want you to pay attention to the yellow line in the center there, where it shows that 10 counts of aerodynamic drag reduction is equivalent to extending the vehicle's range by over 5 tenths of a mile. So just by tuning that mirror and tuning that spoiler, I was able to give you, the customer, an extra half a mile of driving range for free. Overall, from the concept car to the production car, we have taken over 120 counts of aerodynamic drag out of this vehicle. That's six to seven miles of extra driving range for the customer. So why should you care about this? That's why you should care. Of course, there are other ways to do an efficient vehicle. You could do this, but, but really, would you care? Now, Rick Wagner has said uh, that at General Motors, we want to be the leader in design and fuel economy. So uh, with these commitments, I can show you now a couple of uh, detailed photos of pieces of the car, not the whole car. Um, what you see here, this is the uh, official view of the grill. Okay, this is the Chevrolet bow tie. And what you'll notice we did here was the, the grill texture is largely sealed up. Um, the the uh, unique cooling requirements for extended range electric vehicle were such that we were able to send the air down the side of the car and not through the motor compartment to increase drag. And here's the first official view of the front corner of the car where you see you know, really modern technical detailing, uh, beautiful body formations. And then obviously the slide that I showed at the beginning of the, of the presentation which shows the car still maintains its uh, transparent uh, deck lid. 
So that's that's the Chevrolet Volt. And um, in conclusion, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, what an honor it is to work on this program. You know, the, the team, product development team working on the Volt, I mean, they are the best and the brightest. I mean, everyone is fully committed to bringing this car to market. Uh, it's an important vehicle, not just for GM, but for the industry as a whole and for transportation in general. So, uh, on behalf of General Motors and the Chevy Volt design and product development team, uh, I thank you for your attention.